boss man show the boss report with my name main nacho main neek unfortunately our month has ended neek second quarter of the year now is <laughs> april those jabronis take over now after the great month of march brother <laughs> how, how, how you dealing with it man <laughs> i mean i'm dealing with it all right you know it's always another month yes indeed i think it's interesting neek this week that you know um two teams that you and i both know well are playing this week it's funny to see that on TV. I'm just saying. Yeah, it's weird. But it is what it is, though. One team likes me, the other one doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> one team takes me, the other one just be like, okay. <laughs> so one I'm good. team accepts what they play, the other team doesn't accept what they, what they, what they play it. Yep. I don't want to accept it. Don't want to. <laughs> one team got renovations, while another one got some too and accepted theirs and was okay with it. I'm just saying. Then the next day we want a new one. <laughs> what you need? You know what, bro? <laughs> you know what? They resemble Florida people because they, they, they never stop. It's always <laughs> something, these people. It's always something, always. Can yeah. never have a, can't have not one week off. Think about this. A Florida person would destroy their own equipment to get something else. Does this, ain't that what somebody else did? To try to get something else? Destroy their own stuff? They tried. <laughs> Does that resemble someone in Florida would do? <laughs> Or a lot to get a, try to get a new one. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I got to return this, return this back because it was broke when you broke it yourself. Get you a refund. I'm just saying. It was got to do, but we see you. That's all I can say. No doubt. Well, Nick, we see some Texas right there. We got F12. Cop seen on camera punching teenager for riding an ATV and giving him the middle finger. For what? He punched a teenager on camera for riding their ATV and giving him the middle finger. Wow. And that was on tape? Yes. I guess he feared for his life that a middle finger was going to hurt him. Mm-hmm. Him feelings were hurt. Pretty much. Him feelings were hurt. Like somebody else we know who has an arena that they don't like. I'm just saying. <laughs> him feelings hurt. Them feelings are hurt. Well, get this. White Michigan man admits to beating black teen with bike lock because, quote, he is black and niggas don't belong here. Okay. Um, he hit a teenager with a bike lock? Yes. And said, quote, niggers don't belong here. I think that's a, I think that's a reasonable reason to run a fade. I don't think the parents or cousins or uncles or whoever want to run their fate. But mm -hmm. that's a reason, a reason for one. Yes. That is just, I'm a racist. I don't give a damn. Screw you. I'm going to tell you how I feel. Right. Uh, the other folks are still. Speaking of races, apply pressure. Major League Baseball moves All-Star game from Cobb County, not Atlanta, Cobb County, the Cumberland Braves, in response to GOP government governor, the no good purge pimp Brian Kemp, signing these Jim Crow voter suppression laws. I mean, it was bound to happen. That was the next big event to come to that county. So I think for me, it's more like I am shocked that they went with it. But at the same time, I didn't like the Braves so-so response to it. When, when, when did the same Atlanta Braves left Summerhill and Capitol Avenue because their white conservatives, seeing city codes, that would come to the hood to watch their team play? 
Right. We all know why you left. And you can't get the martyr to go to see, see the Braves play in Cumberland. Not even a town. Cumberland Business District in Cobb County. Yeah, which is a whole damn mess. Ooh, that's just terrible traffic coming through there. Yeah, but, but it's purposely, your martyrs not going across the bridge, the Chattahoochee River, the Cobb County. So right. the poor black fans can't even ride the martyr out there to watch the Braves play. Because also racism, man, they don't want, they don't want martyr out there anyway. You know, mm-hmm. you know that history. That's kind of a messed up history as well. But for the people that don't know, it was voted a long time ago to not have martyr come out to the Cobb County area because they were afraid that black people were coming. Yes. So you have that little tidbit. And then you add them moving the cob. It's kind of like, okay, so you don't want your black fans to come out that way because you know Marty is a cheap way to get there. Mm-hmm. So. So all the people out of the Braves are their white fans in the northern burbs. They right. say they don't want to come to the hood to watch the Braves play. Yeah, so that's how it really feels. That's how, that's how they feel. So as far as I am concerned. I'm glad they took the game away. I just wish the Braves had a better response to it. They they can't because they are who they are. They are the yeah. Cobb County Braves, the Cumberland right. Braves, the Cumberland Business District Braves, the CBD Braves, whatever you call it. They're not the Atlanta Braves. They're <laughs> the, CBD. the Cumberland Business District, CBD Braves, yes. The CB, they are some big, Neek. They are BDS, Neek. Oh Lord, here we go! All right, we start early. But, they, um, they are some buck dancing sambos. What they are? I just feel that they should did a better job with that announcement. Also, for Kemp to be like this is cancel culture is kind of like the funniest thing ever. <laughs> like your former president is trying to cancel you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but but see on 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 the right wing though, it's cancel culture. When it goes against their little narrative, it's cancel culture. When, right. when, 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 it's, when it's with the narrative, oh, you're the best thing ever. And you know what I'm just saying? That's what it is. Brian Kemp, the purge pimp, screw you and your dad gum, sit in Bill 202, you country bumpkin, you. You no good, want to be Elma Fudd, which you're talking like this. Our re- Georgians will not be revoked, will be protected, blah, blah, blah. Folks, let's let your integrity is the new vote suppression. That's the new code. When black people, black black and brown people vote, it's a fraud. That's what they're saying. And just making it harder. I just understand why would you want to make it hard for black people? You're gonna make it harder for your other voters as, for your voters as well. So how does that work? It's gonna backfire on the purge pimp Brian Kemp, that no good Brad Raffins Perger and. Gabriel Sterling, all them jabronis up in the Georgia State House, Secretary of State, the Deputy Secretary of State, all them jokers. And that stupid sucker, that no good purge pimping fool. And shout out to Fonnie Willis, the dead of Atlanta, dropping charges against Vince Park Canyon, who should not be arrested for knocking on that stupid fool's door when he signed that horrible bill on the pitch of a plantation. <laughs> so many, there's so many symbols, bro. So many, bro. Folks. Wow. Atlanta is one thing. This rest, this, rest, this rest of Georgia. I'll say this. Shout out to the one team that's true to Atlanta, the Atlanta Hawks. I'll give them that credit much. I'll give them that much credit. The Falcons train in Flowery Branch, Georgia, in Hall County. Don't, don't, don't play that on Sundays. Falcons are not in the community of Atlanta. Hmm. The Braves are in Cobb County. But the Hawks, I'll give them credit. They ain't in the community. They are true to Atlanta. I give them the credit. I was, I was, I was going to credit. I'm going to give the Hawks tonight. <laughs> All right. All right. You know, so we made up for whatever they may think that we said wrong early. <laughs> I didn't say a word. <laughs> Just saying. I didn't say nothing false. <laughs> you did. <laughs> you did. They don't love you like that. Paul Pierce fired out this drunken ESPN stripper field IG live. And I, Paul Pierce wasn't doing nothing wrong, in my opinion, except put on Instagram. 
I mean, you want to do nothing wrong, but putting it on Instagram and you work for Disney is kind of like a yeah, you want to get fired type thing. But but, but personally, I'm glad he's gone. I I, I hate his now scene anyway. Between him, Kendrick Perk, and Richard Jefferson, they they're terrible. I I don't, don't want to hear these 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 jabronis. They make no sense. I'm still surprised Kendrick Perk still has a job doing it. So it's just whatever with me. He 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 adds no value. Nothing. Like I used to, I used to love the jump, but when I see Perkins on there or Pierce or Ryan Hollins or or Jeff Jefferson, I'm like I'm turning that crap off. Now adding Robert Ory was good, but you lost I mean El El Hassan, no more T Mac. I don't really want to watch it. I just think they need to find some players that can actually make you want to watch it. You know. Yeah. I don't think they have any. I don't. I don't know anybody that would make you want to watch it. That make you say, hmm, I might want to watch it because they on here. I don't know. I can't think of anybody. Just directly. When Phil's deal and Stan Van Gundy were on there, I would watch it. Yeah, they were good. They were good. And Amin was good. I think it's because, you know, they... Who? Amin and El, El Hassan. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just think, you know, if you got people that's, that know a little bit of the inside part, you know, coaching inside and play a part, that's a perfect combination. That's how I feel. And that's, Dennis does a good job. So does Van Gundy. So, I mean, get somebody that just knows how to deal with the topics. Yeah, because Paul Pierce is giving a, being trying to, trying to be, make new hot takes, and Kenneth Perkins knows nothing. He was I, terrible. Ryan Hall was terrible, terrible. and Rich Jefferson is annoying too. I'm just tired of hot takes. Just give me what you feel is right. Stop just saying it. Just, just, yes. Just be controversial. You know, yes. Controversial is this. Um, we got this. Fade away jump off. Larsa Pippen spits from Mary Malik Beasley says, quote, people assumed it was serious, but it wasn't. I feel bad for her son who goes goes to to, to Vanderbilt who gets clowned all the time because his mama's a, a I mean and, and, and around the way girl. I mean, I mean, I don't think he. I think he know he feels a little messed up, but I know man, somebody else's mama probably doing the same thing, but just she ain't famous. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know the whole situation anyway, so I can't really mm -hmm. talk about it as much. I just know. That you know, I think you know the son probably feel a little messed up about it, but he shouldn't. There's a lot of mamas that's like that. We got this crazy hot take artist, Brandon Marshall, was passionate but wrong in being allowed about NBA contracts, and only four dudes on the NBA teams have guaranteed contracts. Saying it, and he was loud and wrong. Well, Brandon yeah, Marshall, only yeah. Atlanta Hawks, Trey Young. John Collins, Oneko Kongwu, Kevin Herter, uh, DeAndre Hunter, guarantee contracts. Um, now, um, Scott, Scott, Scott Almaze, um, who else? Brandon Goodwin, um, Bo Donovich, Dillon Gallinari, Clint Capella. I named more than four guys the Hawks have guarantee key contracts already. He's already wrong. I mean, most of them, have, I mean, most of the NBA contracts are guaranteed. Solomon yeah. Hill, guarantee contract. Tony Snell, guaranteed contract on the Hawks. It don't matter. You can be gone for two years. He's still going to get your check. Yes. He it was just matter. loud and wrong for no reason. He's on FS1 every morning with that Nick Wright character. That's I mean, wrong. He, you wrong, you wrong. But he was just so loud and wrong. Like That's nine, was, ten dudes on the Hawks that guarantee contracts. Man, you, that can fast. Look at, you can literally look at every roster and be like, mm. All these folks get all them guaranteed. This folks that's literally not on the roster having played in the NBA three years is probably getting paid at some other team right now. Josh Smith with the Pistons. Yep, still getting paid. That's how it is in the NBA. Get your, get your, I mean, that's the NBA. Get your guaranteed money. Get your money, bro. I mean, before I my thing, if you're gonna be an analyst, at least know what you're talking about. And that's why I'm tired of hot takes at this point in my point in life. That's a guaranteed hot take right there. Like, how can you just not look it up and see that these are mostly guaranteed contracts? But what's funny was how Channing Fry, Chad Johnson, 
Andre Andre Johnson looking at him like you're crazy. Because they know. <laughs> no, the gun just guaranteed almost. They know it. It was embarrassing. It's embarrassing to look at. But he's a meme now, so therefore, more fun. Yes. Got this seriously. New Jersey man arrested for strangling a Burger King employee after arguing over a mask. Man, just wear the damn mask. Hopefully the employee's straight though. Hope he I see he can see it all right. I see you right now. Hmm? I see you right now. What? No. Yeah, I see you being strangled. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Uh, no. Not that. Not over a mask with that. Exactly. Well, Maryland men are arrested for throwing uh, baseball through drop through Wendy at Wendy's for not getting this frosty the right flavor. It was vanilla rather than chocolate. Threw baseball through a damn drop through window. And I really got arrested for it. I know it's a different taste between both of them, but goodness, a baseball? <laughs> First of all, once again, how you have a baseball on deck ready to go? <laughs> they must be playing with their son or they just <laughs> was playing with friends. I don't get it. Like, a whole baseball. On deck, ready to go. Ready to go. Wow. <laughs> yeah, boy. Tell you, sums up. Nick, the versus battle. Um, what are your thoughts on hearing Steve Harvey's air story every damn song? Him being loud in country as hell for no reason, ruining the great verses shot from the music from Earth, Wind, and Fire and the Isley Brothers. And your thoughts on the Isley Brothers playing some R. Kelly hits. I ain't gonna lie, I listen to R. Kelly still. I don't, I don't give a shit. I listen to R. Kelly still. I'm not gonna stop listening to R. Kelly. His music is his music. I grew up on it. Honestly, I mean, I get why they needed a host, but at the same time, pick somebody that's not gonna tell the story. Make it about themselves. Make it about themselves. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? I would be more like a lot. Some people liked him. I didn't like him. I hate him. I just don't feel you need to tell the story between every song and also cut a song short so he can tell his story. And uh, back to DJ Nice. How about D Nice Sucker? His whole song is about his man's name. No, I'm no. D Nice. I just wish D Nice played the songs longer. Not nah, give him time to run his mouth. Give him time to run his mouth. That would have been helpful. So. And he was biased too. Earth when he could tell he's Earth when fire. He could tell he was biased. He played some songs a little bit too long for them. And then well, played I'm, it a little bit short. But I'm talking about Steve Harvey. Oh, okay. He was biased towards the Isleys. Hmm. No, 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 I'm Earth Wind and Fire, rather. He was biased to Earth Wind and Fire. He was biased. Every song, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Got my bicycle and what the fleet of girl and the blah, 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 blah. Hey, shut up, fool. I didn't, I didn't come in here and watch this to hear you run your big Mr. Potato Head mouth. You hmm. butt dancing Sambo. I just, I just didn't even hear his mouth in his own. I want to hear it. Ron Isley and Phil and them didn't do their job and Marty do their job. Not Marty, but uh, what's the cat's name? Do their job. And Ernie Isley on, 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 on the guitar, man. Dude was killer with the guitar, bro. Yeah. He I'm going to tell you, folks, listen to the, listen to the intro to, to that song, Summer Breeze. That first minute is killer. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, he had to play for that one. Summer breeze. <laughs> hey, that first part of Summer Breeze is killer, man. Just the party with the guitar and the beat before it goes into the song. Right. I mean, he had to. They told him to play for his life. You know? But Steve Hart ruined it for me. But I enjoyed it. But he hit the Steve Hart part made me sick. Mm -hmm. They don't get mad. Tom Bob talking too much. And Bob, yeah, she talking too much. At the end of the mission, they just told him, Steve, talk too much, Steve. People ain't liking you talking too much. He came back in the attitude. Can be mad that people want to hear more music in your mouth. Exactly. And then he was crying. Some he was crying doing some, so he was crying is doing some songs. He was tearing up back there. Hmm. Like, you what this, this dude always crying about something. Hmm. Oh wait, what a what a weak what a, have a backbone for one sucker. Golly. And I admit, I just liked his, his sitcom. I just liked that show. But as I got an adult, 
I learned who he really is. I'm like, I can't. St- Why do I like that show? I mean, he's more annoying as a person. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I, yeah. I'll admit again, I love that song when the funk hits the. F- I love that song. <laughs> I, I remember all the words. So it's in my head. I like the show. I love the words to my song. He can get with me. <laughs> I know the words to the song still. So yeah. Who we folks? They going to Florida. We're done with <laughs> we're done with life. Dad going to Florida. Nick is back again. I don't know why. Here it goes. Florida men dressed in all black samurais sneak into a movie theater side door to throw bowling balls at movie watchers in multiple theater rooms. Bro, we got men bowling <laughs> in the state of Florida now. <laughs> Got a got a band we got a band bowling in Florida. One way to stop it. Band bowling in Florida. They in several rock suits sticking at the side door with the bun balls. People, people watching movies. And also, the and the six bullets on the on the loose deal. Also, here's something else I gotta ask. How cheap are bowling balls? <laughs> they gotta be robbing it from, 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 from the alley, probably. They gotta be stealing them from somewhere. <laughs> What's the has that many bowling balls? Yeah, I think you can you, you only buy them from, from the alley, right? You don't really, you don't really buy them at the store, do you? I think you can buy them from somewhere, <laughs> sporting goods store, probably. <laughs> Neek, you're sitting, in a, sitting in a theater, Neek, bowling balls coming your way. What are you doing? Running? What, what can you do at that point? Running the opposite direction. <laughs> You boot up with your girl or something, watching the eating some popcorn. Oh, shro! What is that coming in my way? Ain't no way. You gotta go to a bowling alley to get some of them. Yeah, they thought they was getting having bombs thrown at them. That was bowling oh. balls. They wasn't bombs. A bowling plot, a bowling ball supply store. <laughs> How many weeks in a row is Nick? Three, four weeks in a row we got these stores of bowling balls? Can't buy them in Walmart. I know that for a fact. Gotta be Dick Sporting Goods or Academy, right? Or a bowling alley. Yeah. Or some bowling ball like website or something. Yep. Like, Jesus. Good. Ooh, boy. I can't imagine being sitting move there again and seeing a bowling ball coming in my direction. I couldn't imagine just seeing a bowling ball just fly out of nowhere <laughs> and then sitting there and thinking to yourself, where the hell they get this bowling ball from? <laughs> see, you and I know better than we need to do these stories. We, see, you and I would know better now. We know that they got somewhere crazy. Fucking bowling ball, bro. How? Mm-mm-mm. A bowling ball. Yes. Bowling balls. Plural. More than one. Snuck in in samurai suits, all black, and tossed them in different theaters. At right. people. Oh. Overhand tossing like you throwing a football or a baseball. It must be one of the light bowling balls or the play bowling balls, the fake ones from Walmart or something. Because that don't add up. Yeah, I, I would be like, nah, I'm good. Whew, we we nigga got this black Florida man arrested after biting office for trying to apprehend him at 7 Eleven. I mean, he survived biting the officer. I'm shocked. What he, he survived biting the officer as a black man, he didn't go to jail for this. I mean, he, I mean, he didn't die for this, rather, he survived it. Yeah, that sounds interesting to bite somebody and still be alive right now. I, I don't know. I'm just happy you're alive, though, but, yeah. Biden? Yeah. No. Well, Florida went arrested for operating an unlicensed Botox clinic while pounding four locos. What? Mm-hmm. Wow. Four locos still exist here? Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm just still shot at that alone. Like you people still drinking those? Mm-hmm. 
Like people still making drinks and chilling with those out in the corner. Mm-hmm. Learn something new every day. Woo wee, we'll try this. Masturbating in Florida man arrested, telling police he was stressed and came to public's parking lot because he had, didn't want to get caught masturbating at home around his wife. You that scared of your wife? Mm-hmm. What's what you what you think your wife gonna say about your masturbating? What's gonna call you? What, what? Something there alone is a problem. That right there alone is a problem. So dude should have been jacking off at home. The safety of his own house. Mm-hmm. His own material children. Yes. That's it. I mean, maybe you need to get a new wife. Exactly. Exactly. Um, get this. Floyd went arrest for riding the go-kart in the church and run over the pastor and Stone Cold stunned him and left out in the, go- go- the g- golf cart due to the pastor coming to his house and eating some of his leftovers while he wasn't at work. <laughs> A go-kart. Yes. Church. Stone Cold stunned a pastor. <laughs> Even the man the no go-kart. Family. <laughs> That's a lot going on. That's a lot going on. Leftovers, though. So why was he over at the man's house, though? How was it? Look, man, I'm tired. I'm tired, dude. <laughs> but how the hell he, he? So many questions, bro. So many questions. Let's try this. Florida man proposes the girlfriend using an engagement ring he stole from the other lover. They had another one. <laughs> did he buy the first ring? He did. He stole it back from his other love and gave and gave it to the to the other one. Okay, that makes sense, man. I can let that fly. Oh, I ain't Nick, man no more. Nick, this is a versus uh versus in, 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 uh, inspired story here, Nick. Florida man arrested trying to kill his woman. Taking her on a voyage to Atlantis, the, the, Atlantis, the Atlantis Ocean, obviously, by sending her to the ocean, saying that the Atlantis will always come back to you, trying to drown in the ocean. He will always come back to her. He was inspired by the song, the, the, the fun in the ocean. But she, but she survived. He tried to kill her. Yeah, by a voyage to Atlantis. By going into the Atlantic Ocean. Yes, the whole the Atlantic Ocean, yes. And she survived. Now he's in jail for attempted murder. He's in jail for attempted murder. He told his Atlantis is back to you. And this he always still? come back to her. Like, did he swim out? out? Did he, what happened? Huh? Did he swim or what happened? Lifeguard saved him. Okay, yeah. He's just very stupid. <laughs> he took the song literally, obviously. <laughs> All right. This is well, he, 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 he understood what the song really meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Um, Florida been arrested. I'm still in ambulance from a hospital and stopping to get some sloppy toppy on the way to his next destination and got caught. What? Yeah, he stole the ambulance from, from, ambulance from the hospital. He needed, he needed a ride to go get, go get him some, some sloppy toppy. He stopped at the house and got caught. But he was getting topped off it. They came in and got him. <laughs> and it, he didn't think they was going to catch up on him? Obviously not. He was all his mouth on one thing that mouth he had coming to him. Oh boy. Boy, boy, boy. Sometimes you got to use the brain. Sometimes. Exactly. Sometimes you got to use it. I don't know if people want to use their brain, but sometimes you got to use it. Exactly. Man. Well, Florida couple charged with $5.8 million in COVID relief fraud after buying houses, cars, and throwing parties. They were black, too. They were what? They were black. Man, man, these folks are getting this COVID money and be just house, car, 
condos in another state. Like, come on, man. Man, you can't be spending some of this bad money. They always exactly. find out. They always find out. Man, they going to jail for a while. A while. And I pray they lawyer give them a good deal. We four more stories to go, Nick. Four more to go. Florida man shows skill and steals patrol car in Kansas in a hundred mile chase with hands cuffed behind him. Caught a half hour later after running out, running out of gas. How is he driving with, with, with his hands behind his back? Wait, wait, wait. This story makes no sense. How is he driving with his hands behind his back? Exactly. That's my thoughts. <laughs> maybe with his knees, maybe. Can't drive a hundred miles with your knees. You just still got to push the gas. I, I don't. I don't know how you pulled it. But tall. I don't know how you pulled it off. How you swerving in out of traffic with your knees? I don't know how you pulled it off. Then it's not making any sense. What do you do with his shoulder? Do he drive with his teeth? Like what? I don't know. I can't imagine hands on your back. I don't. I don't. Make, I don't see it. That makes zero sense. Zero sense. Zero cents. Zero. Somebody lying. Well, Florida woman steals a test drive vehicle, gets tracked down by own star. I mean, that's a good well, that's a good um commercial for them if they wanted to use it. I mean, if you ever want to use something for a good commercial, it's right there. Right there. Use it. Neat, this story is complicated, Neat. Florida woman arrested after shooting man whose Johnson she bit after he threw a bowling ball at her after doing an argument. Threw a bowling ball at her. Do an argument. After she she bit his Johnson and he threw okay. the bowling ball at her after an argument. And then she shot him to shoot him. Then she's then she's in jail. I mean, isn't that self-defense? Well, he got bit by her. He threw the bowling ball at her. They got in an argument. And she wouldn't try to shoot him. No, I'm saying, like, you said that she bit his dick. He threw the bowling ball at her. He threw a bowling ball at her. Which, first pause there. How's the one already in the room already? <laughs> let's, let's, let's start there. Bowling ball, man, bowling balls are the new weapons right now. That's a new weapon. <laughs> they, be. they have to be at this point. In the game. Bowling balls are the new gun. So, like, first, I just want to know, at this point, if you threw a bowling ball at me, that means I'm fearing for my life. I might shoot it myself. That's dang your ground right there. She in jail for it right now, unfortunately. Got a free on that one. Final one, nigga, is this. Florida men arrested, still, still from Goodwill, and running from 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 the, the Goodwill deputies. Why would you steal from the Goodwill when they give it away? You must don't want to pay that little two four four two dollars from Goodwill. You must didn't. We can go. We know that they had a certain color of the day, the, the color of the day they have, or the half off day, which is Wednesday Thursday. I think I forget what they used to be. Wednesday Thursday, maybe. My thing is, it's got to be, I mean, they, even if they were making you pay for it, it couldn't be for that much anyway. Mm -hmm. So why are you stealing it? He ain't, no, he ain't a jumpsuit for nothing. He, he, he ain't in jail for nothing. He ain't in jail for almost getting something for $20. Mm. Crazy. All right. Well, Nick, with the end of the report today, what are your thoughts on today's report, man? Bowling balls are the new guns. <laughs> bowling balls are the new throwing knives. <laughs> bowling balls are the all-around best weapon <laughs> in American history. I think we're behind in Georgia and Tennessee, and because Florida, need, Florida has the, its own lot. Like they figured something out that we must ain't, we must ain't, ain't realized. I mean, people just throwing bowling balls out like that. That's just wild. Yeah, I well, thought I would read stories about this ever in my life. You literally got to wake up and say, oh, niggas got guns, knives, 
tanks, and bowling balls. You gotta have a hell. You gotta have a hell of an armor to toss a bowling ball. But what's the pound of the ball? I wonder what how many pounds the balls are. Are they eight pounds? Are they nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen pound balls? I need answers. But this cat in the bedroom already had the bum ball in the bedroom, though. That's what I already ready so they, to go in the bedroom to throw at somebody. Yeah. Florida got a lot of avid bowlers. The bowling ball is going down for the cheap in Florida. <laughs> Something's going on with bowling Something's ball. going on. Something's going on. We got to find out. Let's get the bottom of this. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not, I'm not understanding, the, understanding why this is even a thing. Exactly. Exactly, man. We got to find out. Call my Florida people and see what's up. Yeah, it's getting warm in Florida, too, so it's going to be even probably worse. Right. We're getting close to the season of getting fireworks and stuff, and, and that, that going terribly wrong. Right. So we, we we went from Gorilla Glue to bowling balls. Yep, bowling balls is a new weapon, man. New weapon of choice. Not a mace, not a bow and arrow, bowling ball. Hell, I'll just get out of the way of the motherfucker. If I see you coming to my way, I'm just get out of the way of it. Get you a bowling ball for self defense. I want to make some in Georgia or Tennessee that I can get one rarely rare, 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 I can have in my car. That's, that's on lock. Because I need it. A car bowling ball, bedroom bowling ball, <laughs> a living room bowling ball. Got one get hot in the kitchen, right next to the um pots and pans. We'll have one in the garage next to the paint. Get your bowling ball. I bowling have, ball have hidden in the chimney or something when it comes to the not ring the doorbell one drops down on, on their head. Boom. Right. Get your bowling ball. It's, House protected by, by bowling balls. Exactly. Your side. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna walk up in there. Ain't nobody walk in the house. Bowling ball. Oh no. Bowling balls flying around here. <laughs> Your dome will go down. Right. Your wheel will get split, and with a quickness. What is even the main b- brand of b- bowling balls? I don't even know what that is. I don't know. Is it a brand? Do they have brand? Is it they got some Nike bowling balls? Yeah, where's the main bowling ball brand? I don't even know. We ain't do this. I ain't figure this out. Where's the main What's bowling, the bowling ball? ball brand? Let me see. I'm about to. <laughs> Live on the radio here, Neek finds out what bowling ball brands there are to get bowling balls. Tell us, Neek. Let me see. Hold on. Let me hold on. Bowling balls for the low, low price of free shipping. Let's see. Okay. Balls. Got custom bow. Oh, here we go. We got some names. Got storm. Yeah, that makes sense. Storm bowling balls. Okay. Got a, got a hammer bowling ball. That makes sense too. Let's see. You got um custom bowling balls. Got AML. Brunswick. Brunswick. Brunswick bowling balls. 900 global. Okay. Let's see. Lame, lame masters and legends bowling balls. Lame masters. Okay. You got NFL bowling balls. So there are options here. So, yeah. so they gotta be buying them either at off the off the internet or they gotta be back get it still from, 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 from the alley. That's my only two options. I mean, you can either go to the alley where they have some for sale. It's Florida. They ain't buying them in Florida. No, it's Florida. They ain't buying them in Florida. They still in them. Well, they still in them. You never know. It's Florida. They still in them, man. They still in them in Florida. Still and still. Man. The state's ran by Ron DeSantis. You know, that, he's, he's, no, he's a thief. Man, it's crazy. It's, yeah, yeah, I just don't... I just, I just got bowling balls just to give like that. Yeah, I never thought I'd be covering this on the show. Bullets, <laughs> the brands of bowling balls, but Florida caused it. Yep, they did. I never thought I would hear this from the Storm and Hammer bowling balls. Right. Storm probably the biggest name, though. Storm is the biggest name. So I, I only know like one bowler, Pete Weber, from watching ESPN on Sundays back in the day. 
Listen, who do you think you are? I am P. Whatever, whatever, whatever his name is. The PBA bowling on ESPN. The insert whatever open at the lanes of whatever, whatever. Yeah, bowling just seems like a weird sport. This is my thing, Neat. How, how do you get good at bowling? That what what does that mean? What does it say about you as a person if you're good at bowling? You get to go to practice at the lanes every day. I mean, I, I mean, you get win the NCAA championship for bowling. Get you a good old scholarship for bowling. Man, I guess you can. I was just like, man, well, how do how, how do you end up there? Hmm. I don't know. Also, bowling shoes are terrible looking. Yes. I will confess, I stole some bowling shoes for my life. See? I did it in Florida, of course, of all places. So, it fit in. Did it in Florida. I had some size 13s. Ain't no money in the world to have me steal about some bowling shoes. I didn't want to pay for it. Pay, 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 pay the feet, Nick. I didn't want to keep paying for the, the shoe fee. I, I I was bringing my own, obviously. I mean, at the end of the day, it's got to be like, well, white bottoms, right? But then I got I got hip. I wear my Tim's to the bowling alley. Oh, okay. And I wear bowling shoes. I, I was bowling my Tim's. Mm, okay. I played them off that way. I ain't been on a bowling date in years. When was I went to a bowling alley with a, with a chick? I can't remember how I've been bowling. <laughs> it gotta be like over fifteen years or something, maybe. Gotta be since TSU days, probably at the lanes out on Charlotte there, whatever it's called, striking specimen, striking spell, whatever it's, it's called. Spell. The and the, the the cosmic lights that that night, the cosmic lights, whatever that crap. The was. Friday or the Wednesday. The Friday, the cosmic lights on the Friday. Oh, okay. She lived out there on White Circle, by by the Sonic out there on Charlotte, where everybody apartments lived at. So yeah, that's what that is. So yep, reminiscing folks. Well, this has been the Boss Report. We informed you about bowling balls, obviously. We gave you some information about, about, about bowling balls you, you needed for yes your life. Hammer and Storm and custom bowling balls, AM Milfs, and you know, we, we gave you some brands that give some bowling balls now. Storm bowling balls coming to an alley near you. Storm, storm, and storm. Florida, we have a hurricane coming, but get your storm bowling balls today to save you from the hurricane. It will set you free. I'm just saying, storm bowling balls. Florida's trusted ball, 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 bowling ball company. Yeah, something like that. Sponsored by the hammer. But well, we'll take you in the church and knock your pal staff. He steals to your woman because Jody got your girl and gone. Storm, hammer, bowling balls. Just get him right and hammer or get him tight. <laughs> all right, man. You're making up all these wild ones now. Hey, I'm doing promos for these people. I, free promos. Y'all sponsor the show now. Give y'all free, free promotion. Sponsor the damn show now. I'm just saying. All right, folks. Boss and Neek. Follow him, Natural Man Neek. Boss Man Show. We'll hot y'all next week. We out. Peace.